breaking news. A new episode of Let's Be Frank starting now. Hello all. You know what's interesting? People talk about Lego Power Miners or Lego Alien Conquest a, a decent amount. But when it comes to Lego Atlantis, I do not see as many people talking about it. I feel like it's one of those classic, like early 2010s Lego sets that kind of gets swept under the rug a little bit. I don't know if that's because most people forgot about it or if most people, maybe it wasn't their favorite set of all time. I personally never had a full box Lego Atlantis set. I had one of those little bag ones of an octopus but that was about it. So what I wanna to do today is I wanna take a look at all of the Lego Atlantis sets and you know find out if they truly are worth remembering. However, there are a lot. There are 20 box sets plus a few of the bagged ones. And so it seems like a lot, seems like a lot for one video. So I'm gonna split this video into two parts. Uh, I'm gonna do 10, uh, of the box sets today and in a few weeks and I'm not gonna make it an immediate thing in a few weeks I'll do part two sound good part um, videos with multiple parts don't always do super well on this channel but I don't care I'm splitting them up so make sure if you want to see part two you subscribe you hit the notification button and be prepared and be ready for when that comes out. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the first Lego Atlantis set. Let's begin. All right, let's go ahead and start with our first set here. There were three waves of Lego Atlantis sets. We're gonna be doing all of wave one today and the first one of wave two <laughs> because there are at least nine different sets in wave one and I'm splitting it 10-10. As I said, first set, Monster Crab Clash. Nothing too big going on here, but I love the design of this monster crab, which is definitely just an undersea spider, which I guess all crabs are in a way, kind of. Don't, don't get mad at me, any marine biologists. Don't call me out. Crabs are water spiders, and I think it's very cool. I, there's not much to say about it, honestly, but the, the oranges and the blacks, they complement each other perfectly. And the design of the humans and the, um, and the diving suits that they have to put on to go underwater, love it. I think it's very cool. The greens and the grays, great color combination on him. This is a fun set. You could have bought this for the low, low price of $5.99 back in the day. Not too bad for a crab, spider crab crabs next up here we have the wreck raider ah uh, very cute i like this a lot the red is super bold it pops wonderfully the like grappling hook launchers are very creative different from a lot of other launchers we've seen the shark headed minifigure minifigure i've never pronounced it like that before the shark headed minifigure is fine. I think it's a little awkward looking if I'm being honest. The golden trident is cool. Uh, but besides that, you know, these little rings, all of the you know, undersea monsters, creatures, guard, I love them all. They're very unique, very creative. Um, probably won't be commenting on them too much to be honest, but again, another cool looking minifigure. I pronounced the minifigure again. I look pale right now. Anyway, love the set, very cool. $10 set, eh, I would have paid $8 for it, but honestly, not bad. Next up is Guardian of the Deep. Big old shark looking guy. I love the patterns on the front of this guy's nose. Uh, the jagged teeth are great. Again, the yellow and the black is an excellent color combination. Um, I have no complaints with this shark. This is an extremely cool looking Lego. And back in the day, you could have bought it for $14.99. I would have easily paid that for this set. Moving on to the Seabed Scavenger. This one, this one gives me big Power Miner vibes. Like, holy crap, dude. 
there, there's like a power miner vehicle that looks almost just like this, or a combination of a bunch of different vehicles. I love it. I, I just, it reminds me so much of the power miners. I just, it, it's one of my favorites yet. The minifigure's kind of hard to see. Manto Warrior. Yeah. Again, pretty awkward looking. I'm not a fan of this guy. I don't, I think if you look at the Space Police Lego sets, that which we did before, go and check that video out after this one. Um, a lot of their funky head designs looked a lot better than what we see here with the Manta Warrior. But that's just me. Again, the diving suit looks great. Could have bought this guy for $14.99 back in the day. All right, this is a pretty sick name. The Typhoon Turbo Sub. I like it, I like it. Not much to say about it, to be honest. The, the jet turbines in the front, very cool, but there's something about this sort of just overall ship design that I could take or leave. I prefer a ship that looks a bit more like a classic, typical ship. Think of the Lego X-Wing from the Star Wars series. That is like the quintessential ship in my mind. And then you got something like this, more creative, more creative, but just just not my favorite. Kind of awkward looking at the same time. We got Mr. Shark Head over here again. Eh, not a bad set. I'm, I'm being a bit of a downer on it, but it's not a bad set. $24.99. I can see that, I can see that. Man, again, they are killing it with these names. Gateway of the Squid. Now this is wonderful. I adore this set. Let me break it down. Giant squid over here, intimidating, those sharp rotating fangs, the eyes are done perfectly, and the green and the black, such a good combo. Anything goes good with black though, I mean that goes without being said. Obviously the set itself is nice, it's, it's nice, it's fine. The white albino squid over here is awesome. But listen, this is the first minifigure that looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. The tentacles on the bottom, the head shape up top, the color, just the, co the color of red alone. Everything about this minifigure is so good. I absolutely love this. This is my favorite set yet. And you could buy it for the low, low price of $39.99. Honestly, it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. This is a very cool set. Love the Golden Gates and the treasure chest back there. This is pretty wonderful, guys. I like this one a lot. Whew, we are just blazing through these. You've only got a few more to go. This is going to be a much smaller set here, the Sea Jet. Um, yeah, uh, simple, very simple. A little too simple for my liking. Uh, an extremely cheap set, uh, coming in at just three forty-nine. It's it's something you can put together in five minutes. And that's including the time it takes to open up the box and take everything out of the baggies. Um, yeah, it's there. If you had every single Lego Atlantis set, I'm sure it adds to the world, but I'm ready to move on personally. <laughs> so this next one is disappointing. I don't know if I should even cover it. I don't know if you can even count this as like a full set. It's basically just a minifigure in a box. Uh, this is Manto Warrior. It, it's the minifigure with a trident, and you can build some rocks next to him. Very, very boring. <laughs> There's even a picture here in, of, these, of the set, and it says in text below, the set in its entirety. This is the only way to sum that up. There's just nothing here. You have to remind people this is all that's meant to be here. Well, all right, let me uh, let me give you some lore for this guy. This set could be found at Toys R Us stores in the US beginning in December, one month before the official worldwide release date. I mean, so no wonder there's not much here to talk about. This was like the, the, the soft opening. Uh, yeah, there you have it. All right, we're back on that good, good stuff. The Neptune Carrier. This, this ship, this, mm, how do I describe my feelings about this? This is cool. Don't get me wrong. The bright red, absolutely wonderful. I love the unique design. This 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 design is something you don't see very often. Uh, the little the little manta ray, very very cute. 
Uh, again, the green and the red colors complement each other extremely well. And is this another manta-headed freak looking dude? Did we get another manta-headed guy? Yeah, I just do not like that manta warrior. Um, but the ship itself, A+. Plus. I, I give this full props. And you could purchase it for $59.99. Oof, that's definitely pricey, but I don't dislike it. By golly, we've already arrived at the last set of the video. How about that? that much. And look at this, man. You've got this ginormous undersea scorpion looking thing. This thing looks cool. This is scary. This is intimidating. This is terrifying. It's got a wonderful orange and black color combo. This is killer, man. Quite literally, this is killer. How much would this have cost you back in the day? Let's find out. $19.99, easy, easy payment. I would have easily paid $19.99 for this guy. Ah, oh, man, I don't know why I never did. Yeah, this is really good stuff. Wow, and just like that, we are already finished with this video. Um, This might end up being my shortest LEGO review video yet, but that's okay because we're not done talking about LEGO Atlantis yet. Do not be fooled. Come back in three, four weeks, we w and we will be talking about these Lego sets again, I promise. These end up being a lot cooler than I remember, and I have no idea why I didn't wanna buy so many of these really cool creatures. Only, it's only up from here, as far as these sets go. So with that being said, please subscribe. If you wanna see more Lego videos, show me by commenting down below, liking this video, and subscribing. While looking for topics to discuss in this video, whether, you know, which Lego sets, different ones came to my mind, like those recently made Monkey Kid ones, or maybe the Minecraft Legos, or the Super Mario Bros. Legos. And then I started to look at all their sets, and there's so many, upwards of 30 to like 40 different sets. And I'm like, I can't, how can I talk about all that? I'm okay with making multi-parters or just extra long videos talking about these sets, but I gotta know if you guys are gonna sit around and watch me talk about Legos for 35 minutes straight. You know, I'll do it. I, I will absolutely do that. But I need to know that if you guys wanna see it. So please let me know down in the comments below. Do you wanna see me reviewing sets that have like upwards of 30 to 40 different sets in them because i will i really want to review those minecraft sets there's just a lot make sure you follow my instagram and facebook at let's be frank 2020 and especially on my let's be frank 2020 instagram if you send me a message on there telling me you want to see this stuff that works too i prefer you comment on my actual video but if it's easier for you to go on my instagram ah, do that and follow my tiktok at let's be frank TikTok. And with all that being said, thank you so very much for watching. Until next time!